Libra, la 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 Libra, la 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 Libra. Hello Libra, welcome to your daily message. Welcome, welcome, welcome Libra. This reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Please only take what resonates and leave what does not. If you find something here that resonates, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, we got higher power, God energy, the God within. So your higher power is out. Higher self, downloads open, third eye is open. Um, by mending this relationship with your shadow, you see mending it with your shadow, the orphan, the lost child, the inner child, even within. Um, by mending some type of relationship, your third eye opens. Hmm. You're able to connect more with your higher self today. You're peaceful. You're blessed. There's something that's coming towards you. Yeah, this this is this sounds like a like a real, real high vibration. Yeah, we do have TikTok. So this is like timing or times ticking or time. This is perfect timing. I've been getting a lot of like timing messages. Like this is the time or the time is now. Let's see. We got the higher, the higher power coming out, your higher self. Connecting with your higher self. So you could be channeling today. We do have the wine. So you're going to be really, really happy today. Very, very cheerful. Um, real, real optimistic about the future, especially when it comes to you, another person, a, could be a, a romantic partner, and also like a home situation. Everything's going to be really good at home, um, in a house. You just feel really, really good. Very, very good. Like happy, really happy. And it's because you mended some type of relationship with your shadow. You did something that your shadow, like you were able to finally get back in touch with your shadow um, for some reason. And this unlocks this energy towards your higher self. See, a lot of people be ignoring shadow work, thinking it's going to make you all sad and whatever. But it's really unlocking this energy to your higher self. You do have, I miss you. Somebody misses you. Somebody misses you. I'm also like, I, I miss who you used to be or I miss something. There's an unknown journey. I'm also getting like this, I miss you, like welcome back, like finally. So somebody was already in touch with their higher selves and you could have been through a, a period of like confusion, a period of not being in touch with your higher self because you started ignoring your shadow and now you finally mended something with your shadow and you're back. It's like you've made it back. Like you've, somebody has come back. Now, this probably isn't going to be a message for everybody, but I feel like there's a person who lost con lost touch with themselves. And you've got back to yourself, your highest self, the highest version of you. You mended something with your shadow your inner child that felt like left out felt abandoned could have felt abused even um could have been it's somebody who was sad like somebody always had their head down shoulders all slumped like somebody was completely sad somebody felt lost and forgotten and you did something to make your shadow not feel lost and forgotten So now it's like, welcome back. We missed you. Okay, so we have reconciliations, um, making amends. There's also a person here that's coming up that is um, making some type of commitment to you. They want, they want this attachment to you. They want this commitment. They want a second chance. I'm also getting like this time around, somebody's going to seal the deal 
So this time around, the deal will be sealed, um, whatever this is, whether this is a commitment or not. But this time around, like, the deal is going to be sealed. All right, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is fully healed, like they've healed something fully. It's fully completely healed. Like the health has been restored. I'm getting restored health. Your current energy. Wow. With the ten of so it's pain brings a lot of pleasure. So from pain to pleasure. Through going through the things that you don't like or necessarily, you know, aren't serving you well or the painful cycles. You get completely healed, like some type of health is restored. Okay. Let me get these. I mean, I'm not using these. All right. Let's see. Oh, we do have the high priestess here. So your third eye is definitely open. Lots of downloads. It's like a, a signal that's happening like with you in the spiritual realm. Lots of downloads. Lots of coded things that's going on. Especially while you're sleeping. So make sure you sleep. Also, white feathers could be a big thing for somebody. Um, seeing a lot of white feathers, also dreaming of white feathers and also white light. So you may see yourself in white light. I feel like you're actually being like cleansed or you're actually being healed, especially while you're dreaming. So lots of dreams coming towards you. Um, yeah, also long awaited messages are coming towards you. You also may get a message about a relationship, a strong relationship that's coming in because we do have somebody that's missing you that wants a second chance. That is coming in. All right. Yeah, someone from your past is that. Yeah, someone from your past is definitely trying to reconnect with you. Um, and I feel like you're going to be getting signs from spirits. Why did I just hear signs from the heavens? Some of you guys may hear bells, trumpets, things like that. There's some type of signs from the heavens, or the heavens wants to give you some type of sign that. This is a, a this is your reconciliation. We do have the wish fulfillment. We do have the sun. This is going to happen pretty fast because both parties are ready. I feel like because you love yourself in a way, now you're ready to experience some type of love. And because that other person loved themselves, they're ready to experience some type of love. Okay. Um, from you, from this bond. All right, so there's some type of stagnant energy here when it comes to money. For some of you guys, if you're looking for a way to get some type of money, there is this energy that's happening in your dreams, okay? You're able to decode this in your dreams. For some reason, while you're up, you're not able to see. It's, it's given like this moon. It's really, really clogged. You could be really scared. You're thinking about fears. But when you're asleep, you're free and you're able to dream of answers when you're asleep. For some of you guys, this may also happen like when you first wake up. It's probably good for you to go into like meditation so you can kind of like keep that dream state, but you're not asleep. So you kind of remember what's going on. Um, you also may want to keep a dream journal because a lot of these insights, they're secrets when they're up, when you're up and when you're faced with all these fears. But when you're asleep, you have some type of spiritual power. And you can see beyond this. You have the ability to create magic right now, especially in your sleep when it comes to money. Okay? So there's some type of ideas that's coming to you while you're sleeping, especially about money. There's a call. So somebody is getting this call. Whoa, you're not expecting this call at all. So you took a leap of faith and you could have reached out to a company, reached out to someone, reached out to a boss and said, hey, I want this position. You're actually getting a call back. So your leaps of faith does work today. Um, Whatever you take a leap of faith, like if you show up and like, hey, I want this or hey, I was calling to see whatever. They probably are going to call you back. This is also really, really good news that you're not expecting. You're just taking a leap of faith. Um, I'm also getting like make the call or something like that or you make the call. 
or you making it. Also, when you make this call, you're going to have to be ready to move because you're going to have to spring right into action. Like right into action when you make this call. This is justice coming towards you. Good karma. Justice. We do have the king of pentacles here. So this is good karma that's coming towards you. Really, really good. Things are definitely working out. And also your hard work is paying off. Also, we do have this divine masculine energy here. So this energy with like a divine masculine, especially like earth signs or people who are like business oriented. They don't really like. The King of Pentacles is not really like that, like wild type of person. They usually are like on the straight and narrow. Don't get me wrong. They could do a lot of stuff now, but they're not really like, they kind of have like alignment. They are always trying to get back on alignment, alignment. You know, some people, they're just free and they just, they live their life like in like crisscross, zigzag. But the King of Coins is kind of like straight and narrow. So there is some good energy also with this white feather. This white feather is coming up. Pay attention to if you see a white feather in your dreams or something like that. Or you see a white feather somewhere. This white feather is a signal of a lot of good karma that's coming to you. Also, this white feather is a signal of some type of downloads. Or it is your higher self or your intuition talking to you. Or there's a conversation that's going on between your higher self and the universe. All right, there's a person who misses you and they want to kind of like have fun with you. Yeah, they've been watching you. They miss you. They've been watching you for a while. They've been thinking about you and they want to have fun. They want to reach out to you. They want to do something fun. At this point, it's like they're getting addicted. And also, there's this fiery passion that you have. There's this chemistry that you have, sex appeal that you have, attraction that you have that they really miss. All right. Oh, this second chance is happening. Okay, this reconciliation is definitely happening here. You see how those hands are locked in? Okay, so somebody is locked in with the other person. We do have the chariot. Yeah, this is a, a dynamic duo. So somebody wants you, you're going to go into this relationship. This is a dynamic duo. Um, reconciliation, I feel like you want to reconcile just as much as they want to reconcile. All right, let's see. We have the emperor. We got divine masculine coming right towards you. Giving you a sign. Someone is coming to wake you up or coming to tell you something true. And again, I feel like giving you a sign. And it looks like he has a sign in his hand. This divine masculine is coming to wake you up. Someone's coming to wake you up. Somebody has a message that's going to wake you up. Tell me more. Okay, we do have the five of coins. All right, with the four of pentacles. Okay, so someone is coming with some type of assistance for you. Something you've been praying for. It could, it's coming from a divine masculine. Maybe you've been feeling lonely. Maybe you need some assistance when it comes to finances or something like that. Um, and this is coming towards you. You've been praying for someone. This wakes you up. Maybe it's something you're not expecting. All right. We do also have the magician. Magical time coming towards you. Oh. So there was something. There was a repeat offender. And by going through or by dealing with something with a repeat offender, it's made you magical. You've learned how to switch things. You've learned how to create alchemy. You've learned how to use the energies that you're dealt with. It's almost like you've learned how to make lemonade out of lemons. So you're about to make some lemonade out of lemons. And look, we do have the five of swords too. So I'm getting it's like, oh, if y'all want to play, let's play. That's what I'm getting, like the energy. If you want to play, let's play. We have this. Oh, yeah, you're about to. So there is, I feel like for some of you guys, there could be a group or collaboration or a business partner or something like that that has not been working together with you. And you're about to stop something completely. You have like majority of the power here. I'm also getting like there's somebody who's been taken from you behind your back. 
and you're about to stop something completely like completely yeah look at this drama Somebody is surrounded by drama. Look at this. The King of Cups. And that is the Libra, Scorpio energy. You got the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Just all around it. I'm also getting like someone is realizing that they were around, they were around people who had questionable motives. So they're changing that up. It's like, watch. Watch what I do next. All right, let's see what else. Last thing, we do have two things. Two things at once. Oh, two things at once because you planted a big seed. So this is times two that's coming towards you. You got to handle two things at once. This is a gift that's coming towards you. Let's see how you handle it. I'm also like there's one seed that, that grew two things at once. So now you have to make room for the other thing. Yeah, look at that big old seed. You planted the big old C, which is the ace of um, pentacles. Um, something took a long time coming, but now it's here. And now you have to handle two things at once. Now you have to juggle these two things. And this is like abundance. Um, this is like financial or material abundance or financial or material wealth. And you have to balance both things. You didn't expect something to be that big, but it's going to be really, really big. And it is big may throw you off for a little bit but you're going to balance it we do have the ace of cups this is a gift wow with the six of wands behind it uh, we do have the lovers we have the hangman here we also have the seven of pentacles which means a return on your investment the fruits of your labor so you planted some really really big seed and did like some really hard work and now you get two rewards or two gifts coming back to you and you have to make room for it all right i'm gonna leave it right here i hope this reading resonates if it does make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up i love you guys and i will see you in the next video